and all that snow did shut down Little Cottonwood Canyon for a second day in a row. The reason? Avalanche danger. Take a look. This is video of UDOT's Twitter page. It shows what Little Cottonwood Canyon looked like when it reopened this morning. And as you can see, there's still slush and snow, which is why you have to have chains or four wheel drive to get up the canyon. ABC 4's Jillian Smuckler spoke with avalanche experts about what you can expect if you plan to hit the slopes. Kicking off the new year with a fresh round of snow. I'm very excited. I th uh, I've only been here now for four years and uh, being from back east, like seeing this much snow just puts a smile on your face. But with new snow comes new avalanche concerns. This isn't the kind of snow that makes our license plates famous. This winter storm brought multiple feet of snow to Little Cottonwood Canyon. Take a look at just how deep this snow is. It's almost up to my kneecaps. Now, this snow is much different than what we're used to. It is heavy and it is wet, which is making the avalanche danger even worse is falling on a very weak, unsupportable base layer, and that was created way back in November. The Utah Avalanche Center says the risk for avalanches is high across the state. So on a scale of one to five, we're at a level four, in some places a level five. This is the real deal. This is nothing to mess around with. These are tree snapping, bone crushing, not come home to our family kinds of avalanches once they're triggered in the backcountry. That's why UDOT is doing avalanche control in places like Little Cottonwood Canyon. Fire! Crews are intentionally triggering avalanches to prevent natural slides they can't control in the future. We can't afford to make any mistakes right now because the avalanche danger is high, it's extreme, Avalanches are unsurvivable in the backcountry. And unless you are really dialed in with your backcountry skills, that means avalanche avoidance, we would suggest just stick to low angle, mellow terrain. The high avalanche danger isn't stopping skiers and boarders from lining up. I usually wake up early anyway, so if I sit in a line, that's sitting in a line. But if I, I can get up there, that's all that really matters to me. Eager to celebrate a new year on the slopes. And the lines have been a little long, but you know, once you get out there in the snow, everything's beautiful, and it's been a really good trip. I can't let you go without giving you ABC 4's first snow angel of the new year. So, reporting at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, here we go. <laughs> ABC 4 News, back to you.